Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. Markets opened lower. Uh, that's because the global queues were not good. But in the pre-market, actually, Bank Nifty was uh, showing some strength. Uh, in fact, in the morning, Bank Nifty went up. But then after that, uh, how to say, a concentrated selling in index heavyweights. Reliance fell, yes, of course, that was expected because, you know, windfall tax has been increased. But Infi fell the most. Infi contributed the most number of points for the downside. And ICICI Bank, Kotak Bank, HDFC Bank. So the five stocks out of the top seven stocks fell, then how can the market recover? And today, the broader market has outperformed. Look at the mid cap is up more than half a percent, small cap up more than half a percent. But it is the concentrated selling in the index heavyweights. So then very clear who is selling. So these FAAs do not want our markets to go up. So at the end of the day, FAAs have sold about 1200 crores. Uh, the domestic institutions have bought equally, but still the selling pressure continued. And today, uh, one remarkable thing we can say, uh, stabilization of Adani group of stocks. Adani port shot up at 10% at some point of time, but then came down a little bit. But still it is a decent 9% up. You may remember from Friday's low to Friday's high, uh, it was also significantly higher. In fact, Friday itself, it was trying to close 10% uh, uh, above the previous day's close, but it fell little bit. So, Adani port has shot up nearly 150 rupees in just last two days, from Friday's low to Monday's high. Adani enterprise, it is trying to stabilize, but uh, it keeps coming under selling pressure. Maybe one reason is that, you know, uh, whether other group stocks like Adani Transmission, Adani Power and those stocks keep uh, hitting the lower circuit. So the people who want to take some short position as a hedge, so the only stock they can short is Adani Enterprise because Adani Port is in a trading band. So that could be one possible reason why there is a too much of volatility. but. Today, additional surveillance measure kicks in for both Adani and Adani Enterprise, Adani Enterprise and Adani Port. So that could be one possible reason why there is some kind of stability. The IVs are very, very crazy level in Adani Enterprise. Implied volatility is more than 200. I don't remember seeing any stock with this IV in my lifetime. Uh, if anyone has done a short straddle yesterday at the money short straddle, would have made 40,000 rupees as the uh, profit for one lot. So that was the kind of uh, IV. The IV was so high, but today the IV has come down slightly. So imagine if the IV comes to a normal level of 50 to 60 uh, from 200 plus. So the option premiums will collapse like anything. So anyway, so we have to wait and see um, for the next few days. At a time, our markets were trying to stabilize. Uh, this global queues have turned negative. The US jobs data came, you know, much better than what street expected. So because of the Asian markets fell, European markets fell, uh, US futures are significantly lower. So the volatility started there also. Looking at uh, mm, open interest, so the calls are being added aggressively. 17, 8, 17, 9, 18,000 calls added huge quantities. And of course, some people are also taking 17,800 short straddle. So in fact, uh, the January month, we closed somewhere around 18,000. And after that, you know, we are not going anywhere. So we are just going up, coming down, going up, coming down. So we are not going anywhere. But however, 
I would say Bank Nifty is looking better than Nifty and Bank Nifty is trying to uh, outperform. Though today uh, there was a severe selling in Kotak Bank, ICICI Bank and HDFC Bank, but PSU banks did well, so compensated to some extent. So right now Bank Nifty is looking slightly bullish and uh, Nifty looking slightly bearish. So anyway, uh, this volatility is not going to subside. So this volatility is going to, uh, you know, uh, throw many traders out of the market. So we have to wait uh, for the markets to stabilize at least another one or two days. So until then, you know, I am planning to sell uh, far out of the money call options. And normally I will start selling only on Tuesday because I don't want to take more than uh, two days of risk. So let me tell you which options I am selling tomorrow. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.